Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is the first episode of Pragmatic Keto, the video series where I will respond to common questions, concerns, and complaints that I get in my comments. The first episode is going to be about dogmatism versus pragmatism. I'm going to start with the definitions from the Oxford Dictionary. First off, dogmatism which is the tendency to lay down principles as incontrovertibly true without consideration of evidence or the opinions of others. So you might know somebody that kind of acts in this way. If not, I'll give some examples and you'll probably start nodding along. Pragmatism, on the other hand, is an approach that assesses the truth of meaning of theories or beliefs in terms of the success of their practical application. So essentially, dogmatism or dogmatic people believe their way is the one true right way. Basically, whatever it is that they're talking about or arguing about is religion. They're fanatical, they're zealous, they're pious and self-righteous and judgmental. You're either doing it their way or you're doing it wrong. And you see this in all different facets of life. I mean, religion, obviously, politics. Um, it can be how you work out. It, you know, uh, you see this a lots of times in gyms. You know, the person that feels, well, iron, you got to work out with iron. You can't do machines or you can't do uh, band workouts or body weight. It's got to be this way. If you're not doing it this way and your form isn't this way, you're doing it wrong. You see it in terms of even products, whether that's video game consoles, Xbox versus PlayStation, or things like Apple versus Samsung. You know, what, what type of watch or phone are you using? And it just amazes me the amount of energy people want to put in to telling other people that they're wrong when those other people are perfectly happy with the way they're doing whatever that thing is or whatever that product is that they own. A pragmatist, which is what I consider myself, I'm happy if you're happy. If, if you like whatever you're doing, I'm cool with that. If it doesn't affect me, it doesn't matter. I kind of think of it almost in terms of, like if there were a sports team, a football team, that changed their jersey or their mascot, I wouldn't care. It doesn't affect me at all. So if it makes you happy, go ahead. And I bring this up because I feel like there are a lot of people like this in the keto world. I don't know how happy they are, but I know that they sure do want to spread a lot of unhappiness to others. Oftentimes, these people run Facebook groups, their little keto fiefdom out on Facebook, so that when people come and they ask a, a newbie sort of a question, something that's relatively benign, like, you know, is it okay to eat vital wheat gluten since it's a, a protein and not a carb? Oh! Banned. You're out of here, you you horrible person that doesn't understand the right way to do keto, or my right way to do keto. And the thing I wish more people would recognize about keto is there isn't one true way. There isn't a, a specific set of rules for keto. This is not a trademarked way of eating. This is not a diet like Atkins or Whole30 or South Beach where it's been trademarked and there are specific things you do and don't do. Keto is really more about the state that you achieve, that state of ketosis. Now, granted, there are some very good guidelines out there for keto and there are ways that keto can be more effective for you. But just because someone is doing dirty keto because they're including some sort of wheat product or, or maybe something else that generally is higher carb, but if they are managing it, they stay in ketosis, what's the big deal? If it's working for them, then it works. It's right. They're doing keto the right way for them. Or lazy keto. You don't specifically track your macros. You're not really paying attention to them that much. You kind of got a feel for what you can eat and what you can't eat carb-wise. Net carbs versus total carbs. Or are you eating things that are all organic or grass-fed and pastured and non-GMO and all of this? Now, if you are doing clean, strict keto and you're really focused on eating organic and GMO and you're counting total carbs, you're going to be successful. And if you're comfortable doing it that way and it works for you and it's sustainable for you, then fantastic. 
I'm happy for you, and I'm not saying that with even a hint of sarcasm. I am genuinely happy for you. But if you also find that you can be a dirty, lazy keto and still be losing weight and still be getting rid of inflammation and staying in ketosis and feeling great, I'm happy for you too. I've said this before in my video podcast. The right way to do keto, in my opinion, is the way that works for you, the way that's sustainable for you, the way that turns this into a, a way of eating rather than a diet. Like, I mean, like a diet that you do for a while and lose weight and then you quit and you fall off the wagon. I think keto is the sort of thing that you do for life. So it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be affordable. It needs to be something that you can fit into your lifestyle. And we should be pitching a bigger tent, in my opinion, for keto. We should try and be more inclusive rather than less inclusive. We should try and bring people in rather than turn them off. And I'm here to tell you, dogmatism is a turnoff. Nobody likes it. Don't be that person. Be the person that's a little more empathetic, a little bit more understanding. And as we bring people in, maybe they do shift to a cleaner style of keto. Maybe they do realize at some point that total carbs is more effective for them than net carbs. But maybe they don't. Still, the more people we have that are keto, the more people that understand the benefits of keto and get off of the standard American diet, we start reversing type 2 diabetes, we start reversing obesity, we start improving lives, we get rid of inflammation. This is a good thing. So I hope as we go through this series, I can present arguments in a pragmatic way, rather than dogmatic, that will help some of you understand why I do keto and my perspective on keto and how I keep it sustainable and fun. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.